<sighs> the reason I'm being like this is because of multicolored tourmaline. And it's my favorite crystal to be working with right now. It's actually multiple crystals, but they're all tourmalines, just different colors. I'll show you. This is my multicolored tourmaline bracelet. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the energy benefits and my favorite effect that I get from multicolored tourmaline and why I like it. And honestly, why I think that multicolored tourmaline is a crystal that anybody who likes metaphysical crystal energy, I think that anybody would really benefit from bringing this in, so. Hi, <laughs> and welcome back to Vibes and Frequencies. My name is Nathaniel, and I make videos to help people to be the most powerful expression of themselves. Today in this video, every Tuesday are crystal days on my YouTube channel, and I'm talking about multicolored tourmaline, which I wear in bracelet form, which I'll explain momentarily why that works so well for me. But what I want to do in this video, 100% decisively, is talk about what the energy of multicolored tourmaline feels like to me and how it manifests change in my life and what kind of change and impact that is. And it's a very great one. And I found myself very centered on my focus, as in focusing centeredly <laughs> on multicolored tourmaline. I don't even think that sentence made sense, but. So to me, flat out statement right now, multicolored tourmaline to me feels very peaceful. It's a very centered, grounding kind of energy. And that's exactly why I opened this video, just playing in the dirt and dropping it, because that's what it feels like to me. It feels like I'm 100% here, but in a different kind of way than I feel from a lot of other crystals. I find that a lot of crystals are able to help us to balance ourselves and balance certain areas of energy in our lives. Very many crystals are helping to bring us into the present moment by encouraging certain kinds of experiences and directions of energy that as we work with them, we begin finding ourselves more in the present moment. But multicolored tourmaline is different because it is a different crystal. It's actually a collection of many different crystals. And you can quite literally state that this is going to be a balancing energy for anyone simply because of the literal fact that we've got so many different colors and different aspects of energy involved here, right? You've got black, which is associated with being grounding, helping to absorb negative energy. You've got pink and green, which are of a heart activation, right? And of course, we've got these other colors as well. So we can point our attention to see that this is helping us to be more balanced in this way. But a very important statement I want to make to me before I begin to express to you what the number one thing and the number one reason why I think everyone should work with this is, is I want to say that every crystal holds a certain energy, frequency, and vibration. And we ourselves are interpreters. So we're all going to interpret the same energy differently, meaning it's going to encourage different kinds of changes and things in our lives. Sure, multicolored tourmaline is going to be balancing for everyone, but balancing in what sense? That's gonna be up to you. You're going to be the one who feels and experiences that way. <laughs> so this, all I can do in this video is share with you the way that it expresses for me. And the most powerful thing that multicolored tourmaline does for me is it helps me to synchronize both my mind and my body. What does this mean? Well, let me go ahead and share an example with you of what an unsynchronized mind and body are doing. So I'm in Sedona right now, and I go hiking every day. So an unsynchronized Nathan, mind and body, would be me going about my walk, right? I'm just walking, I'm enjoying, wow, look at all this beautiful scenery, but what I'm doing is while walking and hiking, I'm thinking about this weird conversation I had with one of my roommates in high school. And then all of a sudden I'm thinking, ooh, I'm a little bit hungry. I wonder what I'm gonna eat later. And then I'm thinking, oh, I wonder how this person's doing. I should pull up my phone and text them. So I'm here physically in Sedona walking and hiking, but my mind is not. Therefore, I am unsynchronized. My body is here. My mind is completely somewhere else. Therefore, I'm fragmented. I'm broken apart. 
our most powerful expression, which is what my YouTube channel is all about, no matter what day of the week it is, Tuesdays or Crystal Days, your most powerful expression is fully synchronized. All aspects of you are here, aka full presence in the moment, seeing things as they truly are, what is directly in front of you, this experience, the fundamental goodness and nature of your existence. Multicolored tourmaline is an energy that everyone will feel this feeling. You will feel the feeling and the energy of multicolored tourmaline when you work with it and you enter the dimension of this crystal. Now you may be asking yourself, how do I enter the dimension of my crystals? How do I work with crystals? Well, I've got a video on that. It's called How I Enter the Dimensions of My Crystals, and I'll tag it in the description for you because that might be something that's helpful to you. So once you are able to be someone who is able to activate crystals and is able to feel the energy and you've got that going, this is what the feeling is. It is this synchronization. And again, we all might have this express itself a little bit differently and we might interpret the information and the kinds of ways that we start processing reality around us when we're synchronized, we're all going to kind of interpret this uh, a little bit differently. For me, it means that when I'm hiking, <laughs> sorry bushes, when I'm hiking, I'm hiking in my mind as well. I'm here, left, right, left foot, right foot, breathing. I can smell the earth. And this is what it is, this is why you saw me picking up dirt and playing with it. This is what the energy of it is to me. It's very earthy. I find that this mind and body synchronization happens best outside with multicolored tourmaline. Now, this could be for a multitude of reasons. It could simply be because we are all more balanced and synchronized when we're outside getting that. And it could also be for some other things. <laughs> so that's gonna depend on your interpretation too. But I feel it best when I'm outside. I actually feel all my crystals best when I'm outside. And I can really feel myself. And this energy really does encourage us to connect with the natural world around us. Because the natural world is fully synchronized. The natural world is a synchronized mind and body. Natural being the fundamental way that it just is. So normally we have thoughts narrating things. And again, I've expressed multiple times in this video that we will interpret things differently. It's because we're interpreting from a certain place of ourselves. Now, who you are is made up of, I'll just go ahead and express it simply as two separate, two separate entities right now. There is the entity of your physical person, AKA my whole physical body, my mind, the body, everything that I feel, my name. So Nathan, I am one entity, Nathan, and then a second entity, life everything around me, the present moment, natural existence. So I am made up of both Nathan entity and life entity. Life and Nathan come together to create experience, my experience, my expression, right? Now, if we are able to let go of one of the entities of ourselves momentarily, so let go of the entity that is Nathan, therefore letting go of your physical person, then we see that the other aspect of us is true natural life. Meaning that we aren't projecting ourselves to interpret the situation. I'm not going to interpret anything that happens based on my past experiences or based on memory or based on my feelings, emotions, thoughts, or really anything like that. I'm simply seeing it for what it truly is. It's just here, it just is, right? There is no wrong, there is no right, there is no bad, there is no good. There is only what is and what is not. <laughs> and the reason that I'm kind of ranting in this direction is because this is the way that the feeling of multicolored tourmaline, the feeling of this peaceful, synchronized mind and body presence, earthy, natural feeling, this feeling for me manifests itself as an expression that comes through my person entity, my physical Nathan body. And it expresses itself in the ways that I've been expressing. <sighs> Life for me, since really centering myself with multicolored tourmaline, 
what changes have manifested? Well, for me, I've experienced a lot of manifested change where I have a lot more what you could call enlightened moments. I have a lot more moments, a lot more of moments where I'm not experiencing the human race. The human race is called the human race. <laughs> We're all running around and our minds are going in different directions, our bodies are going in different directions than our minds. We don't even know what's going on and yet we seem to want to tell everybody that we know everything, especially ourselves. So this is kind of what can be happening. So the biggest change that's manifested in my life since really centering myself with this multicolored tourmaline energy is the ability to not be part of the human race, racing, to manifest myself to be part of the human experience. The experience of being here and really experiencing everything around me, really feeling it, really tasting food, really smelling air, and really hiking while I'm hiking. Things like this. It really is an enhancement to any experience that you have in your life because your experience is really truly what we are with those two entities, right? Nathan and life. Nathan and life. Nathan plus life equals experience. Whose experience? Mine. <laughs> and multicolored tourmaline has me having a lot more times where I'm in life doing things and I'm not thinking about the other kinds of things that, oh, what am I gonna do later? Or these random thoughts popping in. And the interesting thing is that even when they do, because this is not about control, right? The, the power of multicolored tourmaline is not about control or completely silencing the mind. I would have other crystals that I would recommend for that to you guys. It's not about that. Because these thoughts do arise, these things do arise, and we will constantly have a lot of noise going on in our lives. Multicolored tourmaline is not a silencer. Multicolored tourmaline is not something you buy and you put on and you snap your fingers. <laughs> and suddenly you don't think or hear voices in your mind anymore. It's an energy, it's a feeling. And when we feel a certain feeling, you can feel how that influences your day. For example, if I am happy and I'm in a good mood and I'm feeling the feeling of joy, then all the people that I pass by on my hike, I'm gonna be smiling at, right? I'm going to be happier, so they're gonna be happier interactions. If I'm feeling upset, then they're going to take that kind of frame. So, multicolored tourmaline promotes a feeling that that feeling creates these changes and helps us to interpret the situation a little bit differently. So, my mind has not been silenced. My mind has simply been separated from a, another aspect of myself. Life. Real life. Nathan, life. Multicolored tourmaline simply helps you to digest each of these experiences separate from one another. And when you're able to really experience something separate from one another, it means that when they come back together, you can truly feel them a lot more sensitively. You can really feel your experience. Your experience isn't just something that's being had, but it's something that you are. So this is the power of multicolored tourmaline to me. And this is why multicolored tourmaline, I mean, I'll show you, I've got, um, where's my other one? <laughs> Oh, I'm sitting on it. I've got four bracelets of multicolored tourmaline and, I, and I've been wearing them all. And this has been the main energy that I've been focused on working with for the last week now. And tourmaline's always been a really powerful one for me, specifically in the past, because it's a very grounding energy. And I used to have a lot of difficulty with grounding energy because my mind, I was so excited to travel other dimensions and explode into all these other areas and aspects of the universe. And while this is a powerful part of the human experience, a lot of times I felt that separating me from the other aspect of who I am that makes up experience, life, neutrality, the true actual things that are outside of the person that we are being and that are actually just fundamentally there, right? When you think about it, the sun rises every single morning. When you wake up before the sunrise, do you have to sit there and think with your person? The sun's got to rise. I must think about the sun rising for it to rise. I must sit here and take notes and try and manifest the sun to rise. No, the sun rises every morning without you. 
you, you don't have to do anything with your person to have the sunrise because that's just life. That's the other aspect of you that's taking place. We don't need our person vehicle, essentially, to be doing all of these things that are just naturally taking place. And a lot of times, the power of ourselves is expressed when we find ourselves fully present in the experience that we're having. So again, this is why multicolored tourmaline is so awesome to me, because it changes me from being part of the human race to being part of the human experience. And where does this change really come from? This change really comes from one place and one place only. My person. Nathan, the Nathan entity. Watermelon, I'm sorry, multicolored tourmaline doesn't change life. Multicolored tourmaline will not do anything to life. Multicolored tourmaline will help your person, the other aspect of yourself, to be able to perceive life in a more balanced, neutral, sitting and breathing kind of manner. This is a very powerful energy for me. Because again, as I mentioned, I used to want to travel so far in all these other directions, but my human body's here. Nathan's sitting here right now. So if my mind is traveling a million years in the future in other dimensions, I'm missing the human experience, which is who I really am here to be and to have. This is why I've been working with multicolored tourmaline. This is why I believe that multicolored tourmaline is an energy that everyone who is connecting to crystal energies and is working with could really bring into their life and have it balance them. Now, what it really has manifested for me change-wise is actually something that I've discussed in a previous video. It's called The Enlightened Path and the top three things that will put you on it. I'll tag that in the description of the video below. A lot of me working with multicolored tourmaline has helped me to come into these kind of energies and express them in that way. So I really recommend checking out that video, as well as the fact that it will help to put you on your enlightened path, your experience, the uniqueness of your person with life combined, creating you. That's how perfect and magical it is. Now, the last thing I wanna say, because I did mention in the beginning of this video that I would express this to you guys, is why I wear them on my bracelets. And this is because I see them. I can see them. And when you see something, we are naturally inclined to give it some of our attention, right? Now, a lot of times I wear my main crystals over my heart because for me, I like to embody the energy in a centered, in a centered place, right? The heart is the center of us. Even if you look at the whole chakra system, it's right in the center. This is where our most powerful expression comes through. But the reason that I wear multicolored tourmaline on my wrist is because it's not an energy that I'm bringing into my person to enhance my expression of Nathan. It is an energy that I am working with to remind me and to allow me to connect to the other aspect of what makes me me, life itself. Not just my person and all the thoughts going on in my mind, but the actual physical reality, the actual experience that is fundamentally happening for all of us in an extended you know, area when we're near each other, something happens. We all will say that this happened, this happened. We might have different details about it, different experiences of the same exact thing that happened, right? So at this point, I'm really just rambling. I really enjoy multicolored tourmaline a lot. I also do make three videos a week, and every Tuesday I talk about crystals just like this. So if you like crystals, if you like spirituality and spiritual journeys and awakening, definitely subscribe because I, I have a good feeling this channel is definitely for you. <laughs> And I will see you guys on Thursday. My next video is coming out all about the different layers of ego. All of these things are tying in together because everything is one. And that's the direction that my life has been really kind of blossoming in lately. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. Much love to you. I'd love to hear from you about your experience with multicolored tourmaline if you feel like sharing. And I'll see you for the next video. Thanks so much and have a good one.